Ok, ok, ok. Sí, díganle hola a YouTube. Say hi to YT. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Ok, thank you. Ok, vamos a, ver, vamos a ver esto. We're gonna watch. No, no, this is in French. Wait, is this... Is this... This is in French? Ok, that's... Ok. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? <gasps> oh my gosh. Didn't he kill that guy at the end of the movie? In the... There you go, there's your girly. We use music to make us whole. To balance the fractures within ourselves. Wow. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Huh. You mean like shoot someone on live TV? <gasps> Let's get out of here. I love that she's the unhinged one. <gasps> oh! My goodness, we're getting a La La Land. Holy shit. <gasps> That's such a good version of the suit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is such a good redesign of the suit. It makes her look so good. Well, this is wonderful. And it fits within this world that's a little bit more gothic. It's a little bit less Batman-y. It's a little bit more realistic. This makes sense. Tell us, what's changed, are there? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. Oh, my goodness. What should be talking about Oh, this movie has given me such a boner already. I want to see the real you. Move your face. There you go. There you go. <gasps> that is such a wonderful shot. Who is the director of photography? Oh. We about to get freaky in Arkham Asylum. We about to get freaky. That was very good. Oh, geez. Like, just the photography already. Like, every single shot in this is wonderful. Like, check this out. Look, that's wonderful already. This is great. The police officers are obscured. The yellow, the contrast. It's like green and then yellow. It's very nice. Well, blue and yellow. Music to make us whole. To balance the and I know that the colors on the umbrellas are not, they're not as vibrant as they are when you see it in the top shot. I think that's supposed to be like a, his perspective in a way, right? I'm nobody. A lot of blues and yellows in this. Makes it look really nice. It's green, blue, yellow. It's wonderful. That's beautiful. Everything is just gorgeous. This movie is going to be the crazy version of La La Land. It's going to be Silver Linings Playbook and La La Land combined. You know what I mean? And look at the colors. Ah, uh, so beautiful. Lawrence Cher is director of photography. Okay. Props to Lawrence... Okay, he's getting chased. I wonder by who. I wonder by who. We still got the yellow and the blue. All right, you see that? I wonder what the color theory for this movie is going to be, what it's going to represent. Oh, he's getting chased by himself. That's quite good. Someone getting hit by a car. Yes, they are. Actually, that's interesting. Um, do you think other followers of the Joker are going to be just 
trying to get him to speak some wisdom or whatever. Like he's become kind of like this big figure in society, right? For anarchy and for um, nonconformism and just strangeness, right? I think that's going to be like a big central theme is that maybe he's trying to run from the past. I don't know, or run from what he did or be normal, but it doesn't seem like he wants to be normal. It feels like this movie is going to be him uh, flourishing with Gaga as his kind of encouraging factor. And that's their own imaginary world. You know how uh, Fleck had these visions of being on Murray's show and stuff uh, all the time. I think that's going to be his... Um, these are going to be his visions, right? This is going to be so good. Because they're definitely not going to have their own show, but damn does Joaquin Phoenix look fucking fine. Damn does he look fucking fine. He's boo. He's bae. Look at him. Okay, he's getting dragged back in. Maybe he tried to escape after they got out of there. We already looked at this, and look at that. It's the red against all of the blue in the background. Gorgeous. Tell us. What's changed? It's a little sexual. It's a little sexual. There's a lot of sexual tension here. I'm going to be very happy to see this. If she leaves him by the end of the movie, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. If she breaks his heart, I'm going to be so fucking sad. Tell us, what changed are there? Beautiful. I wonder what that shot's all about. Tell us, what changed are there? Let's see. I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's the real world. Look at that. Look at the look, look at the, the sign. We love Joker free on all charges. That's definitely his own delirium. You know, psychosis, whatever the fuck. Knock, knock. Free Joker, free Joker. OK. I'll tell you what. Yeah, look at him. He's got all the support from all of these people. Look at look at that. And he's on his way to trial right there. You can tell. I'll tell you Maybe after trial is when they get out and that this not this is not like his hallucination. Maybe the scene where they're kicking in the air Tell us what changed is right after they got out or something like that. I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. So Ms. Giant just asked, Batman does not exist in this universe. Yes, he does. But he's a child at this point in this universe. Uh, he's a little kid. Bruce Wayne is a little kid. I wonder that's beautiful the white suit kind of black masky don't you think you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about those people that played Arkham Origins you know what I'm talking about that's gorgeous I love the yellow theme with them look at that the yellow and then the blue and the red more blue that's and red. About. Do you think that whenever there's a scene with Harley Quinn, there's just a lot of yellow? That's her like symbol. That's her symbolism color. Because there's always yellow when she's on screen. You know what I'm talking about? Look at that. Look yellow. He's blue. Look, like, she's yellow. More blue. The, like the light is hitting her mostly. Yellow. And then there's yellow because she's here on this shot right here. Oh, that's nice. I want to see the real you. That's sexy. <sighs> this movie's going to get me. Mm. Why is there something so sexy about like this crazy ass man? I don't know. It is a musical. And it, the fact that it is a musical is fine. I love that it's a musical. You know what? I think whatever, whatever person that decided that for there to be musical numbers in between, great. Those are gonna be some real bangers for the summer. Look at that, yellow. She's always in yellow. I wanna see more. Music to make us whole. I wanna see more. To balance the fractures. Look, see? She's got yellow on her, always. There's no yellow in this scene, it's all blue. I guess there's yellow in this side of the shot. Look at that, yellow. Okay, that's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, fuck, I want to work in movies. I'm really, 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 really happy about this. It's interesting, though, because a big part of Harley's character is that she loves the Joker, but the Joker really doesn't give a shit about her, so I wonder if that will be represented. 
I think that the main representation of the Joker and Harley's relationship with it, which is Mad Love, which is sadly her um, big intro into um, what we know about Harley Quinn. It, it's 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 quite sad because that story, you know, Mad Love, it's very much its own story. There's a lot of iterations of Harley and the Joker recently. uh this year, at the beginning of this year, uh, DC came out with a Spotify um, audio novel podcast type thing called Harley and the Joker. Harley Quinn and the Joker, which is interesting, in which she kind of manipulates him into doing things for her. And it's that that different um, chemistry that they have, that different relationship that they have, that is really interesting and really just uh, stands out from like all the other Harley Quinn Joker stories that we see. And I think that if these this story is mutual love... And it's not abuse because I don't think Arthur Fleck has an ounce of um, a violent will have a, an ounce of a violent tendency towards her specifically because she's kind of like the only woman that's ever, you know, even looked at him in that way, which is super interesting. And um, I'm very excited to see what they do with this movie and what they do, you know, moving on with this plot. So I'm very excited. I hope I hope I hope I hope I hope. That it's not one sided, though, because if they try to do it a different way, I think uh, Harley's going to break the Joker's heart and that's not going to be nice. You know what I mean? I think that's going to be that's going to be quite different. Um, but this is really interesting so far. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much for recommending that I watch this. I'm very, very happy and I will be revisiting Joker one of these uh, days just to kind of get a, a nice, better understanding on it. So, I don't know. Say bye, YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. Say it. Write it. Say it. Something. Do it. Now. There you go. 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 Nice. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.